Good morning, ladies. My name is Rashida, and my husband and I are on a journey of conceiving baby number three for the past 17 months now. So today is, what's today? June 4th. And I am currently, I am 14 DPO now, I think. Let's see. Yes, I'm 14 DPO. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this test. I am 95% sure that it's negative um, because of my last test, didn't get any darker. Um, I know my body, I'm very prone to chemicals, so I'm not expecting anything from this positive. I'm actually um, at my shop today, um, getting some work done, waiting on UP, not UPS. Well, UPS and FedEx to get here to bring my boxes um so I'm gonna go ahead and take this test and then chat with you all a little bit about what I'm doing for my next cycle I cannot wait I'm trying to keep a positive mindset because I mean hey it's kind of used to it now you can't stress yourself out when you're trying to conceive so I'm just keeping a positive um just keeping a positive mindset of everything that's going on. So I'm not going to stress out. I'm not going to drive myself crazy because it's just going to make things work. So got this pregnancy test. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. So just to chat with you all about what I'm doing next cycle. Um, hopefully, number one, um, if I'm not. If I haven't conceived this month, my cycle comes on because my fertility specialist has me still taking these progesterones and I'm like, okay, but you know, whatever you want, but I don't think, you know, I'm used to this, you know, I'm used to this, so, but I'm still taking the progesterone, but she told me to, um, I think once I give her an update update today, she's probably going to tell me to stop taking it, but um, I'm still taking them. <clears throat> I made sure I take them last night. I don't want to be, you know, doing anything. She's like, go ahead and take them, and I'm not taking them. So I continue to take them, but I've dipped the test. And while that process, I want to show you all something. I'm so excited. So... I'm starting my teas today. I'm starting my teas. These are my fertility fusion teas. They have been sitting overnight. So I'm actually going to get started. It's, um, it's still early. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink one hot as a hot tea. It has Nettle, red clover, red raspberry, and I have cinna cinnamon. <laughs> so I have to say synonym. <laughs> and cinnamon in it. Please look up the benefits of red clover and red raspberry and nettle when it comes to fertility. These teas are amazing. They actually help with implantation, which is probably my problem. Red raspberry helps prevent miscarriages, which is definitely my problem. And the crazy thing is I used to use these herbs to do yoni steaming but never thought to drink them when you yoni steam the effects of it is not as quicker as it is if you of course um use them orally um or drink them so i didn't think to drink the teas i only use them to for yoni steaming um i did have some yesterday so i kind of already know what they taste like but of course i didn't let it um steep this long so i don't know what it tastes like but these are i'm sure very very potent i'm going to drink two or three of these today and i'm going to drink water and my teas water and my teas water and my teas that's it that's all i'm gonna try to drink at least um i know my body is going to crave a coke once so i'll probably just drink a little bit of coke just to you know satisfy my craving i'm not gonna um deprive myself of anything that i want but this cycle, I am going to change my diet. And I want some people to do this with me. Like, ladies, we have to 
we have to, you know, change things so that we can conceive. <sighs> if you want it as bad as I do, and you being pressured by your kids <laughs> to have another baby, you do it. So my daughter is definitely pressuring me and it's crazy. Like she carries this around with her because she's she says she's practicing for her baby brother so she carries this around with her all the time and i'm like she was like i'm carrying it no pressure i'm not pressuring you i just want to practice for my baby brother so i'm like oh lord so i'm pulling out all the stops i'm actually um about to get dressed and I'm going to go work out a little bit. I'll probably vlog a little bit, but I'm going to work out and get my body back active. I used to be very active, but your girl is thick now. So, I'm a ham hop. Definitely. So, um, I'm going to get back active. I used to lift weights a lot. Been quarantined, and I was eating a lot of quarantine snacks. So, I'm looking like a whole meal at this point. <laughs> So I am definitely about to get back in the gym, get back active. So this month I'm going to work extremely hard. And also, let me show you my supplements that I bought. Um, I do a lot of research. I read a lot. And I just don't pick up stuff to take them. So do your own research if you're looking to do this stuff as well. So I got these. You can actually get them off of Amazon. Um, it's Women's D-H-E-A-F. Um, and the two ingredients, the reason of my purchase is because it has false unicorn root and, um, the chassis tea berry. My main ingredient that I want was the false unicorn root and it has wild, um, wild yam root, which is amazing for fertility. But the false unicorn root, look up false unicorn root for fertility. It's the best of preventing miscarriages. And they used it a very long time ago um, for women who had um, issues getting, well, maintaining their pregnancy. So when I found it, you know, um, they don't like for you to take these anymore because, um, well, you wouldn't need a doctor at that point. So uh, if you ever try to go to your doctor and say, hey, I found some supplements with wild yam root and false unicorn, they're going to tell you, no, you don't need that. Don't take it because you're taking money out of their pocket. But um, I've done my research. I take the recommended dose, which is only one capsule, because you can um, take it too many of this will kind of not because they harm your body, but, you know, just take what it's supposed to be and it's only one so I'm only gonna take one but enough of my rambling I'm sitting here looking at the test and it's negative so let's take a look at it real quick yep it's gone the let me see my test is actually negative and I knew it would be like I said I'm very prone to miscarriages another chemical yep i knew it so nothing there um i don't know i'm not surprised i'm not heartbroken uh anything like that i just you know i kind of i i expected it so it's cool i'm i'm okay but um i'm actually about to get my place together so that um i can finish with the showroom i'm here very very early we're here so early that we have to take naps in my office that's because we're it's still in the process of um getting done and i haven't opened yet so just give y'all a sneak peek of my business so this is actually um my showroom is not complete at all. That's a little bench that customers sit on and try to shoes. All this is going to be filled with inventory. Those are some of the shoes. It's not all. And of course, all of these shelves are going to be filled. So, um, And here is my waiting area and this side uh, with TVs, my register counter and everything. So, yes, but I'm getting ready to um, got some things to do here wait for fedex or ups whoever's supposed to come today i get deliveries every day it's crazy 
um, and then get dressed and first of all, warm my tea. I'm gonna strain it, of course. Um, and I'll be back. I've done some research and um, if you don't know me, I am team natural, try to do it on your own type chick. So I did some research and I am going to create or make um, a fertility tea infusion. So I went to my all natural food store and I got some herbs and I'm gonna make, um, oh shoot. I'm wasting them and I'm gonna make a fertility tea infusion. So, um, I use these fertility um, with these herbs for my yoni steams. I do yoni steaming and I actually use these for my yoni steaming and I'm gonna actually use them to drink. So, the first one I have is red clover and it actually regulates your cycle and it's really good for unexplained infertility. I don't know what my problem is because I ovulate regularly on my own. I have cycles on my own. I don't know what my problem is. So um, red clover is really good for um, unexplained infertility and balancing your hormones. And the next thing I got is nettle leaf. Um, um, so nettle leaf is really rich in minerals and it um, sends oxygen to the blood and you need that to create a very thick, juicy um, uterine lining. And last but not least, I have red raspberry leaf, the holy grail of fertility <sighs> teas. Um, people take this in their third trimester and they take this to try to get pregnant. This um, studies have shown and tests have been done that red raspberry leaf um, can prevent miscarriages. So that has been my issue with um, chemical miscarriages and it helps with egg quality. And that's another reason why I wanted to do it. But you, should, you do have to stop taking this before ovulation. So I'm gonna make my infusion tea. So first thing I'm gonna put in here is the red clover. Oh, and I have mason jars. So I'm gonna put the fertility herbs in the mason jar and I have actually hot volume water boiling right here. And I'm just gonna dump it in I did, and I did use um, spring water. So I'm just gonna take this and dump it in there. Listen, I couldn't do anything to have a baby at this point because I'm almost 32 and my uterus is just screaming to rest. So I'm trying to speed this process up as much as possible. I'm so happy I'm keeping a very positive attitude through all this because you don't want to be stressed out while trying to conceive because that just makes things work and it just makes you make things harder for you to get pregnant. So I'm definitely keeping a very positive mind. I pray, I meditate, I talk to God. My seven-year-old daughter prays every night that I have a baby. Like she prays every single night that I have a baby. Um, and she carries this outfit around. It's a little boy outfit. I'm gonna show you. I don't know what happened to the little onesie, but she carries these around everywhere she goes. Um, just to kind of, you know. She says she's practicing for her baby brother. So I pray I'm just really able to do this because my baby is, <laughs> is yearning for a baby brother. So no pressure, no pressure. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my raspberry. I keep saying red raspberry leaf tea. And these last, I think like, um, Two or three days. So I might actually have to probably go get some more red raspberry. And I actually have some more of these herbs. Um but I just went to go buy more. I don't know why, but I'll probably end up probably going to get some more red raspberry. Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> looks good so this is my tea infusion i'm so excited i have my boiling water <laughs> i'm just gonna pour it it's, whoo, hot. this is how it looks after it's been poured and i'm just gonna pour more on the top so that it can be completely submerged. And I'm gonna actually let this sit for about eight to 12 hours, maybe probably overnight, so it can be really saturated because I really wanna get everything out of this. So, um, and once I do that, I'm gonna strain it and put it in here. Um, and this was, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. This is gonna be the strained tea, and I'm just gonna drink it cold every day from out of here. So, once I get everything finished, I'll be back. All right, ladies, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my tea, show you how I'm going to strain it um, and just put it in here. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator because I'm gonna drink this throughout the day and I'm actually may pour, pour some of this out into my mug and drink it hot um, right now. But I'm gonna put it in here, put it in the refrigerator and drink it throughout the day because I have a refrigerator here, so. Um, I brought the strainer, of course, to strain the um, the herbs. <laughs> but then I'm going to reuse the herbs and put more water in here and let it sit overnight. So I'm going to continue to use my herbs um, because I think you can use them up to three times. So this is the second batch that I made. So I'm probably going to use this one first. Um, let's just go ahead and open it up. This one here tight. There it goes. All right. I just got a feeling I'm about to make a big mess. I really have a feeling I'm about to make a mess. Okay, so I grabbed my pot that I had here. So I'm gonna go ahead and um oh my god, and the cinnamon smells so good. Can't wait to drink this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in here. You can see the cinnamon stick. I'm gonna put new cinnamon sticks in here. Um, use a spoon. I had to go buy some these supplies yesterday because I'm I actually live like 35, 40 minutes from here, so I couldn't go buy anything. So a little too far. And you can see the cinnamon sticks are in here. <laughs> and they smell so good. So I'm actually gonna put my herbs back in my pot. I meant my um mason jar. Because I'm gonna use them again. I'm actually gonna go boil some more water and put um Boil some more water and let it sit overnight again so I can drink this from um from my cycle starts. I don't wanna I don't wanna go ahead and drink this now, um being unsure um of what's going on with my cycle right now. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. Wow. So I'm gonna pour this and I'll be right back and let you see how it looks. Okay, so this is how it looks. Oh my God, this is so potent. Look how dark this is. This is crazy, look how dark this is. I can't wait to taste it. I'm gonna taste it, let's see how it tastes. Oh, I'm scared. It's not my favorite. It definitely can use some stevia. <laughs> but it's tolerable. I think if this was really cold, it'll be a nice tea to drink. So I'm glad I let this steep. I can't wait to try this. So um, if I didn't get my big fat positive, my baby out of this cycle, I'm going to, um, this, is what, this is my regimen for Next cycle, I'm still going to work out. I'm definitely going to take this month really, really serious because I have to, I'm almost 32 years old, so. 
I don't have a lot of time to waste. <laughs> I gotta get this baby out. Um, and we want two, so you all are gonna be on a journey with me for a very long time because we're wanting two more babies. Two, two boys. So, as soon as one pop out, maybe after like two months, when he's two months old, we're gonna be at this all over again. So, and I have, so with the next cycle, if it happens, I'll pray that God blesses me this cycle and have a healthy baby this cycle because I'm not giving up yet. But, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up either. But if not, I'm going to show you all what I have planned for my husband because, you know, now it's like, now it's like more of a job um, when you have intercourse. So I'm going to spice it up. I found this beautiful hotel downtown, so we're going to have a staycation. Um, and it has a really nice, it has the tub in the middle of the floor of the room. So gorgeous. Oh my God. So I'm going to spice things up and I'm going to, you know, vlog, not vlog everything, but vlog the hotel, give you some ideas like to spice things up because my husband feels, he does feel pressured. Um, and I was like, all right, let's go drop them draws. It's time, it's time to go. <laughs> So I'm gonna spice things up a little bit and hopefully he enjoys it. Well, I know he enjoys it. He 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 loves stuff like that. So um thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe and turn on your bell notification for more of this not stressful but long journey. Um so you can share with me and I would love to hear y'all stories. So Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.